I normally like chaos. I like crazy stuff. I like that things go wrong. I don't like that everything is perfect and working. Hello everybody, I'm Per from Sabaton. I'm the bass player and uh, this is my top three. Uh, it's uh, fantastic to be back touring. Um, of all the things within uh, what we are doing, from uh, writing music or recording music or, or doing uh, whatever uh, we else we do, which is a lot of stuff, uh, history, channels and uh, uh, whatever we do. But uh, of all the things, the thing I love most is to be on stage. Every day on tour is worth a million days somewhere else. So I love touring in Japan. Uh, definitely, I think that goes for every band member. Uh, another which might not go for every band member, but definitely for me, is uh, when we tour Latin America. And uh, the third one would maybe be United States. Uh, so those are the three. Uh, I, I think everybody who goes to Japan realizes that everything is very well done. It's very nice life. Uh, you come there as a musician, you feel very welcome, everything is functioning perfect and uh, that helps your day. Not everybody is like me. I normally like chaos, I like crazy stuff, I like that things go wrong. I don't like that everything is perfect and working, with the exception of Japan, uh, which, which gives me a lot of time to, to just enjoy life. But Normally, I like to tour under rough circumstances. I like that it's not easy, that it's tough, that things are not working, things are not by the clock. I like that. If there are no issues to solve and if the day is too simple, uh, I, I find it a similar way for everything. I do not want a medal or I do not want to win without competition. I want everything, every little victory must come with a hard fight. A lot. I'm uh, very often going to concerts uh, and uh, uh, festivals as a visitor and concerts, yeah. You know, when, when you, you're like taking it up uh, and there is a lot going on in there now. Um, so maybe there is a, a concert with Rotting Christ in Cyprus was one of my top. And then I think also maybe there I, I, I went to a Queensryche concert once, which was super cool. Uh, it was in New Jersey and... Uh, else. These are things I remember, I don't know, it's difficult. There is Iron Maiden, there is Sabotage, and uh, then it becomes difficult again. And Skid Row, maybe. I mean, Iron Maiden was my first real love for metal, and uh, Skid Row was the one who made me want to be a musician. And Sabotage is just there for every emotion of my life, whatever it is, uh, happiness, sadness, or whatever. They have some part of me always. The water, my friend, like that, is it? <laughs> no, I see. There are plenty of inspiring people, and uh, uh, but most of them, they are not from the music industry when it comes to me, mainly from the computer games industry. Uh, and from the tech industry, maybe there will be some also philosophers who said very good things and that is still valid after thousands of years. So there, there might be some things like that. When it comes to the music industry, I'm not so very, to be honest, impressed by most of it. There would be Last of Us. There would be... Wow. If I go back in time, there are some uh, emotional games, XCOM, maybe some Elder Scrolls game. I, uh, I think I own every edition of Skyrim. I think I bought it on the Switch, on the PlayStation 3 and 4. On the PC, I have it on the VR. I think as a whole, uh, I rank Carolus Rex very high. 
um, maybe the number one. I think that it's super emotional and it has a story. I like the story. Um, I like that it has one story, not multiple. I hold Great War very high. Then it has to last stand, I think, is the next one. So when it comes to Carolus Rex, I think that definitely the way that we produce the album, it's always everything on. It was pretty powerful in a lot of ways. So I do like that one. The lyrics, the stories, they connect because they are about Swedish history. But story-wise, Last Stand is stronger for me. Uh, Great War maybe has the best songs. Okay, I like to run. I like to play video games and then I like to party. But then, of course, I do a lot of other stuff as well. I mean, yes, I play in a band, but I also do a lot of other things for the band. Sabaton has no external management. We handle everything ourselves. On a day-to-day -day basis, I sit on an office uh, when we are not touring and we have a team. And uh, yes, I'm doing office work for the band. And uh, normally in a day, I work 12 to 16 hours per day when I'm not on tour. Yes, I, I never have like any any place where I'm not on. Uh, top three things on tour that I cannot live without. Uh, I don't need a lot. I, I, I can be around for a very long time. I, I do need a, a computer every now and then. Passport <laughs> makes this touring very difficult without and a credit card, I guess. The rest I can fix on the tour. Even the laptop, if it breaks down, I fix that as well. 